comes as close as your next prayer. Prayer is the weapon that God has given his children to wage war in the heavenlies. Church of Jesus Christ, stop whining about the attacks on your life by the prince of darkness and put on the whole armor of God in Ephesians 6. Attack, attack, and then attack again, and then attack again, and crush him, and drive him out of your life. If it seems to be hopeless, pray, 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 because God answers prayer. Moses prayed and the sun was arrested in its courses by the hand of God as Joshua crushed the enemies of Israel. Elijah prayed and forked tongues of fire laced across the heavens and consumed the sacrifice soaked with twelve barrels of water. Hezekiah prayed and I'm talking about Old Testament prayer right now. Hezekiah prayed and 185,000 Assyrians that surrounded Jerusalem promising to slaughter every Jew Jew in the sacred city the next morning, Hezekiah rolled out the letter that General Sennacherib had sent to him, mocking his God and mocking the people of Israel. He pulled out his secret weapon, prayer. He laid that letter before the Lord and said, God, your honor is at stake. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Your word said, he that keepeth Israel neither slumbers nor sleep. And that night, the death angel from heaven came and swept through the camp of the Assyrians. He smote the sentry standing at his post. He smote the infantry slumbering in their tents. He smote the generals as they made their battle plans to destroy the sacred city. The next morning when Hezekiah looked over the sacred walls of the city of Jerusalem by the dawn's early light, he saw 185,000 dead men because the angel of God passed by that night. Why? Because one man knew how to pray. He stopped an army and turned the destiny of a nation around. And you can too. Because Satan is a defeated foe. Christ has given you the keys of death, hell, and the grave. You are a child of God. And the royal blood of heaven is flowing in your veins. You are destined to be more than a conqueror through Christ. Think like it. Act like it. And talk like it every day of your life. And believe. And believe that God can do the impossible. Jesus said, my house shall be called a house of prayer. If you want power with God, learn to pray if you don't know how to pray you will never be successful I have preached the gospel of Jesus Christ for 44 years I have preached in football stadiums packed with 75 to 80,000 people I have preached in the beautiful cathedrals of Rome I have preached in the mud huts of third world nations I have preached to millions of people around the world by radio and television why did it happen it happened because my mother went to war with the devil for my soul in her prayer room and the devil lost she prayed me out of the fires of hell and into the gates of heaven prayer works try it